<laughs> hey group. Good morning everyone and welcome to another video and we are back on the road. It is about 7 o'clock. I've been up since 2 a.m. unfortunately. <laughs> um, Sam's been up. I wasn't getting up that early. I don't know why. We kind of talk. It, whenever we get ready to go somewhere, whether it's a flight, whether it's a road trip, I wake up super early because I think I anticipate alarms not going off or something happening that I have to be awake. So, inevitably, I will crash at some point on this road trip, probably. Yes. Hopefully. Oh, she will. <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Let me whack me with a mallet. Um, but it is about 7 o'clock. We made a... We were up. I was, Our alarm was set for 6. And Sam's like, oh, I want to have more another half an hour. So, we were up about 6.30. Well, we that way, it was about the time the sun was actually rising, too. Mm -hmm. so. Um, and we stopped at, um, a Starbucks that was kind of like right catty corner from where we stayed last night and then got gas and headed on the road. So what'd you think of the hotel? It was definitely cheap. It, it was. was clean for being cheap. It was. Um, uh, we had the, some issues. Yeah. I'd say the door had some issues. The door handle, like, it didn't want to, like, open all the way. And so, and, we did let uh, them know. The toilet. The toilet, I, 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 that may or may not have been the toilet's fault. Right. So, the, I can't blame the toilet. Uh, but then we went to turn on the TV. And no remote. There was no remote. They're like, did you check all the dresser drawers? Yeah. No, but okay. I'm like, it's not there. They're like, okay, well, it'll be about an hour and we can get you one. And I'm like... Hour for an a hour for a remote. They're like, well, security has to bring it so that in case you have a gun. Okay. The <laughs> and it made Sam and I laugh a little bit because when we moved to Washington with the Army, the first hotel that we stayed at that we had a couple nights paid for. We had to go in and sign out a remote. remote. We had to sign out the remote and we had to sign out batteries. Yeah. So it was kind of a funny little reminder of how our life started for us. Um, I mean, you wouldn't think that the hotel would have been quite that cheap, but right or quite that you know we paid a little more than what we would have would do it for out in Washington. Right. But it's like okay. We stayed at the Rosen and International, and it's like right. It's clean. It, it's clean, and it's right by Universal, like right by Universal, like you. If you look out, get but out I mean, on I four. If you're staying longer than one day, you probably would stay want somewhere, somewhere else. else. It was good for one night where we really weren't in the room very much because you guys know we spent you know our time at Disney Springs and we wandered around Pop Century before it started to kind of rain and we decided you know it's about time that we're going to be getting we're needing to go to bed and that kind of thing. So um, we went back to the room. This is your tragic globe express. This is my tragic globe express. It's a longer drive. Mm -hmm. And it's not free. <laughs> Neither is Magical Express after January 10th. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but so we have about a 20 hour and 10 minute drive, which of course, you know, we will have stops in between bathroom breaks, food, gas. So uh, we, it has been a wonderful week. Literally, we left a week ago today. Yep. Actually, yesterday technically would have been a week. <coughs> seven days, Saturday to Friday is a week. Yep, so. Right, but. We left last Saturday. Better? We're not playing technicalities. Oh. Um, okay. So, that is kind of, we're, we're just the, the ride home. So, we will see you a little ways down the road.
Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, after being on the boat, and like it didn't hit us until now. Yeah, like, until now. Two it's days like, later. This is weird. Uh, but like I kind of told Sam this morning that I kind of felt like wobbly and a couple people that I haven't gotten our leg lands back <laughs> Land, legs back leg, yeah leg lands um so and yeah, it, we were just fine yesterday yeah I don't quite understand um so several people that I've watched their um videos and stuff have said that it may take a couple days for like your body to realize that you're not on the ship and then you kind of notice it more no oh, I notice it yeah so uh, yeah. <laughs> so um <laughs> it's a really weird feeling. Like literally, you feel like your body is like still floating. Still floating. It's such a weird feeling. Um, so we are in Georgia. We it is um, eleven twenty East Coast time. Uh, we've just been kind of listening to Disney songs. We've been listening to uh, WDW radio. Can anybody guess our next trip? Hmm. Any guesses? <laughs> Description below. Um, so it's, but it's been a great morning. It's beautiful out. The sun is shining. I will say that sun bun we bought at Ron John's is a miracle worker. OMG. Um, when we were at the hotel last night, we threw away that, um, other aloe gel the, that we the had version. because all general, it I literally, yeah, I think we got it all general. Um, literally it was making it worse instead of better yeah it felt like it was like and it was really making it on fire yeah and like that or this was auto, automatic cooling yeah it like it was really like even like just sitting in the store and then like being in our bag putting it on it was cold it wasn't like it got hot in the sun like this other one did and this one like i could rub it into my hands and my and nothing the other one, it was like, I think my hands are stuck together. It was bad. And I like, think the other one was actually called super glue. Oh, got it. But I mean, oh, you, no. you guys can see, like, I'm still red, but I'm not as red as yesterday. And I can touch my nose. And while it hurts a little bit, it doesn't make me want to kill somebody. <laughs> I can touch my nose, too. Nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we I are, know my nose. Right here. We are about three-ish hours from the Georgia line yeah. on the northern side. Um, so we are, we're making really good time. Our ETA right now is 2.45 in the morning um, right now with just driving. Uh, it'll probably be closer to about 3. 3, 3.30, some um, gas With gas stops and, and stuff. But we're, we're doing really good. We're, we are just moving right along. Uh, tomorrow... Ooh, guys, look at this car. You know us and old it, cars. It needs a wash. It needs some, like a wash or something, it but pretty. it's pretty. Here's the, here's us. Um, so we're, um, probably this road trip is not going to be in multiple pieces like the other one. It's going to just be the one way home, but yeah. we're, we're, we're glad that you guys came along with us on this trip. Yeah. It was good. So we're gonna listen to more some more Lou Mangiello. If you're looking for a good Disney podcast, WW Radio is awesome. Yes. We love it. We listen to it. We have it downloaded. I'll listen to it at work. I'll listen to it. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll normally download the most recent one the week of when we're getting ready to fly out. Mm -hmm. Because they're about an hour. Well, no, not anymore. Not they're anymore. Some of them are closer to like three. Wow. Um. The way we I've had several that were like two hours forty minutes or three hours or awesome. So we're gonna it's listen. kind of how our podcast has grown. Yay! That makes me happy. Um, we will download them on our PS2, PS3, three. We have a PS3. I know we're old school. <laughs> and listen to them on our TV in the background at home, um, just because it's it's really interesting. Uh, the topic that we're getting ready to listen to is. Um, Theme top, top 10 theme park attractions that should be made into movies. And so he's got a couple guests on with them. And um, they Lord are... Timmy Foster. Louis Timmy Foster. And, and another... Some, and some TikTok guy. And a guy from TikTok. And so 
he's saying, okay, you have to pick a ride. And then it, for bonus or points, more attraction. And for bonus points, like, how would the... Who would you cast? Like, what would the plot be? Right. Well, and then we're kind of pausing it after they give theirs. And right. Kind of talking, talking about, about ours. What like, we would do. Right. Like, so the last, the one we just listened to was about Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I said, oh, I, I, I kind of have a vision for that. Like, I said, you, what, I think it's next only. No, that far side is. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes these, wa these, um, roads that say. Signs look a little, little closer, closer to each other. other. Um, so I said, mine, they, they, they were talking about Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I said, my version of that would be that a family was on a road trip and they saw a sign for a historical landmark. And the historical landmark is the abandoned mining town that. Big but the sign looks kind of worn down. Right. The sign looks worn down. They're like, wow, this isn't being really kept up that well. They're like, and wow, we didn't even see it on the map. And so they go into this this um, old abandoned town and they're taking pictures and whatnot. And all of a sudden, this boulder comes flying down and behind it is a rail cart. And they jump up onto the like walkway in front of a building and they kind of fall through the door and they fall through time to when the mining town was actually running. And so what do you guys think of that? What, what do you think that would make a cool movie for uh, Big Thunder Mountain? And who would you cast? And who would you cast? And then tell us like what you would do with that ride. Um, so we're going to go back to listening to this and we'll catch up with you guys after bed. <laughs> hey guys, you want a snack? Um, we, uh, are in Georgia. We are in Car just left Cartersville. Yes. Um, we did a gas up. We, uh, took about six out. We, we hit some really bad traffic in Atlanta, like two or three wrecks right in a row. And so it delayed us about 15 minutes. So right now it looks like we're going to be in closer to about 4.30 in the morning. 3.30. Right, but that's with no more stops. Okay, 4 o'clock. Okay. So right now we are just driving along and eating a snack. I'm having some bugles. Sam is Pringle. having Pringles. And we had picked up some uh, RC Cola at, before we left. And we just got some ice. Sam's cup of ice at the convenience store and loaded up our sodas and we are trucking down the road catching Lola. Okay so we forgot to mention. The commercials are right. <laughs> we were driving through Atlanta which we're now in, almost in Tennessee um but we was driving by downtown Atlanta and Sam was look there's a Carvana thing and literally it's a tower of cars just like the it's commercial. It's a skyscraper of cars. We're like uh, it does exist. They do exist. We thought, it, right? We <laughs> thought it was like just something for like the um, commercial that there was this, this big like vending machine of cars. Oh, there actually like, is a vending machine of cars. There actually is. It was so crazy. Well, I, don't, I wonder if that's the one you get quarters back from. <laughs> I hope so. It's I hope it gives you dollar coins when you pay in. <laughs> so. Uh, like I said, we're almost... You know, if I'm putting a change penny at a time, that's going to take a minute. Mm, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, we've, we've become across a lot of, like... People that don't know how to drive, apparently. Yes! It's called Crash Ahead. Yeah, like, this is, like, the fourth one. Uh, Georgia! Learn how to drive! <laughs> because it's... spending so much time in Lynchburg, and you'll be okay. <laughs> So, all right, well, we're going to get through this next crash, which is coming up, and we'll catch you a little bit. Clarksdale, Tennessee. Um, we have come, you know, full circle to our first night stay. Yep. Um, it is about 6.30. We've had, we're about 
45 minutes behind where we kind of thought we would be. Simply because of bad traffic stuff. Yeah, bad traffic. So Wrecks and... Not that we were involved in anything. You know, just them. Uh, bad drivers. Bad drivers. So we're going to gas up. And then we are going to grab something to eat because literally we haven't eaten since breakfast this morning. We, we had snacks. Some snacks. We had some snacks, but we really haven't eaten anything since um, this morning. So we're going to get gas and we will catch you in a little bit. Like the guy walked off and we're like, what is happening? Well, apparently, because it's been a little bit of a wait, um, my guess is that they're understaffed. Um, a car that put in a $30 order didn't pay and like drove off after ordering i mean yeah you're gonna say here the line is long i mean it happens and i mean unless he was having to get back to duty or something then right you know. i mean he we are not gonna get home until 4 40 4 42 right now it'll be closer to probably 5 5 30 right and we're sitting here we're not complaining you know things that they, they have no control over this no. so I mean, it is what it is. This is just how things go sometimes. So, eh, not not very happy with that person because then it messed up the guy at the cashier's line. So, all right, well, that's what's going on. Hey everyone, so it's been a while. It is currently 1.20 in the morning, Central Standard Time. And uh, we stopped at a Love's alongside the road. Sam was really needing to stop and just get a little bit of rest. Um, and so we did, we sat for about an hour and I'm so mad. Um, I didn't get a bug bite in Florida. Didn't get a bug bite in Miami where I go to the bathroom at a gas station in Missouri and I get three. Good thing I had cortisone 10 cream in my bag and I got it out and I put it on, but I'm like, really, really, really. And they're not little ones. They're big ones don't understand so we will catch you later today hey guys guess what we're we're back in marion county we are eight 17 miles away from home <sighs> it has been it has been a long night um uh, between i kind of kept dozing. there were storms and yeah you got we stopped a couple times so that sam could nap um and we're I know this wasn't a very exciting road trip vlog. I know we didn't talk much on video, but there was a lot of stuff that kind of was going on behind the scenes. Um, so, like rain. And now <laughs> it's raining. So that's nice. Because um, it'll be nice and dark. It'll be nice and dark at home. Uh, the plan, it is currently 7 a.m. Um, our time in Marion, or Marion County. My brain is dead. It's just done. It's like, I, I don't know what to do. I'm done. Um, uh-huh. We, uh, we're going to take a nap and get, we're going to set the alarm for a few hours because. That way we can sleep tonight. That way we can get good sleep tonight, but we do, we need to get some rest. Um, Sam's got some homework to do, so things that we have to get done today we're gonna start working on some planning stuff maybe. and then we have some planning stuff we're gonna work on so um we will finish out this video a little bit later but we we're sorry that there wasn't a lot of road this wasn't kind of like one of our other road trip videos where there was a lot going on but no it's kind of just a straight drive back yeah it was just a straight drive back like i said there was stuff going on behind the scenes and uh we didn't want to kind of burden you guys with that. So, um, we will see you at the bit. And somebody is very happy to see us. <laughs> she just started purring up a storm as soon as we walked in the door. Peaches is a happy girl. Hey guys. Hello. So, I know that this video is a little convoluted and it seems to like just sporadic sp very yeah it's very sporadic um it was it was <laughs> it was slightly stressful um on the way home uh something that we didn't really talk about on the road because we really just we couldn't it was i was having issues was um because we used because we used our debit card with royal caribbean they had charged us 
the hundred dollar deposit, which was fine. Then whatever was over that, which was another another hundred and eighteen, they had pre authorized that on Thursday, Friday, Thursday night, and then we were like, okay, we cool. thought we were good. We thought we were good. Saturday morning, we stopped for gas, and I was checking my email, and I had a low account balance. I'm like, what? So I went in and checked my our banking, and we were down to $60 in the bank because Royal Caribbean had taken the full $218 again. again. And so I spent an hour between Bank of America and Royal Caribbean trying to get this, and they're like, well, the 118 is only a pre-authorization. It can take up to 45 days to fall off. Not knowing this. Right. If we had known this, we would have made sure to have cash. We would there would have, have been no issue. Right. We would have made sure to have Royal Caribbean gift cards. But when we did not know we this. We had no idea. It made the trip home a little fun. Right. Um, very thankfully, we have a credit card, but we didn't want to take it because we didn't want to be tempted to overspend what we had planned. And so we didn't even have that on us. And so I'm talking to mom and dad and they're like, they're trying to help us figure out what we can do. And, um, I'm like, mom, I can send you a PayPal request. And mom's like, what's PayPal? <laughs> Gotta love my parents. And so we did it. I, um, mom's like, you just, do you guys want enough to stay overnight somewhere? No, and we're like, okay. no, mom, it's fine. We didn't even plan for that originally. We had planned that we were just going to drive straight back. No, I could get my homework done and stuff right. for class. And... So, um. Which I did. Which you did. But we, we got it and we made it home and we still had plenty of money there. It when we checked in to Rosen International, we had actually paid that through Expedia on on the 4th, and they did a $50 hold. That $50 hold, we got back at 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Mm. So. <laughs> well, it would have been okay, but. Yeah, it was just slightly stressful, like, going, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? And I'm, like, on the phone. And I'm, like, we'll be fine. I kept and, telling her we'll be yeah, fine. Mo and mom and dad are like, it's going to be fine. Like, you're going to be fine. And if he But she didn't listen to anyone ever. I was having a little bit of a panic, okay? I could a not... little bit? You are about to ride on top of the car. <laughs> um, to make your granny in the Beverly Hillbillies while you ride on top of the car. <laughs> um, mom and dad said, worst case scenario, we would have found a Walmart and they would have driven to Walmart and done a money transfer and we would just picked it up there. But this didn't cost us near as much as no. one of those would have. So it all worked out and everything, you know, was fine. But, um, we got, ended up getting home about 7.30 in the morning on Sunday the 11th and we slept for about four hours until about 11 and then you got up and did homework mm -hmm. you took a quiz <laughs> got a 96 so not horrible <laughs> for being on a cruise ship all week and no sleep and taking a test yeah and then over material that i really didn't have time to study <laughs> yay <laughs> and then you had i passed <laughs> and he's holding a 98 percent in the class so that's great um but uh, Sunday, uh, when we got home, we literally kind of just bummed around the house. My parents brought us lunch so that we didn't have, because literally we had been awake for like an hour. Um, we had, we stopped at McDonald's in Emporia and yeah, got breakfast. breakfast at McDonald's and then headed home. And then, um, like I said, we came home, slept, had lunch, did a few things, had some dinner, and went to bed. It was like, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I was like, I went, Sam, it's 6 o'clock. And he went, what? <laughs> I'm like, it's 6 o'clock. Um, so, overall, the road trip back was fine. Yeah. It was it was long. Um, we, decide, we, we have decided we will never drive straight through again. We are not in our 20s I anymore. Said, <laughs> at one point, I was able to do it. No, not so much. So, any upcoming road trips that we take to Disney, we definitely will make we a stop. We include a stop in Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee, Clark, Clarksville, um, slash, uh, 
Nashville is about halfway for us. Yeah. So oh. we can stop there. Um, plenty of places to stay. So we're good to go. Yep. So we really hope that you enjoyed this really sporadic road trip video. <laughs> Um, things it's, have... a, it's a video, I guess. <laughs> if it's a... There it is. <laughs> <laughs> this may or may not be the best video ever made. We do not plan to win the Academy for this. <laughs> but we wanted to make sure that you guys knew that not everything that happens with us is perfect. Not everything gets videoed. Not everything gets talked about in the moment. Sometimes we wait and talk about it later. And that's kind of why. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.